Well, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Our top story is the vaccines. We've got a great example tonight of a church that's stepping up and stepping in to help fill the gaps in our communities of color. Our Sarah Danik is live tonight in Minneapolis. And Sarah, you stopped by a pretty important vaccine clinic today. Yeah, I sure did, Tim. Kingdom Life Church in North Minneapolis was contacted by Hennepin County earlier this month. They asked them, hey, can you host a vaccine clinic? They agreed. They say at first the spots really weren't filling up very fast, but by the time the clinic got underway today, they were booked. Are you ready? Yep. I ran over it. I was like, yeah, let's get it done. Ty Pringles has no reservation. Well done. Dose one. He's about rolling up his sleeve today. The father and grandfather considers this first dose of COVID vaccine the key to the future. We got an opportunity to, to, you know, get back into life. Others took a little more coaxing to come. But I was really apprehensive. I got up a few times last night to say, okay, God, am I really doing the right thing? You don't have any major allergic reaction to it? No, sir. Good. Unease around the vaccine isn't something new, especially in communities of color where there's been historical trauma of medical mistreatment. There's a lot of hesitancy about not trusting not the system, I'll say that. <laughs> and so we already know that there's, you know, health inequities. And so you, you keep adding all these different things, and that's going to cause people to say, mm, I'll wait, you get in and then let me know. Noretta Hughes says her church was contacted in early March by Hennepin County to hold the vaccine clinic alongside Hennepin Healthcare. They gauged interest from their members and found that interests quickly grow. Monday, I think I had about 30-ish appointments. By Thursday, I had over 100. The symbolism of a church that serves the BIPOC community holding a vaccine clinic isn't lost on those here today. Churches traditionally have been a, a place uh, for comfort for our community, you know, to, to be okay with um, what's going on in the world. And you'll want to bring that back when you come for your next dose. Great. And while everyone's path to this particular clinic is different, they're all leaving with a little more joy and immunity. Last year I was terrified. Today I'm feeling relieved. So that in of itself is a good thing. And we will see you in four weeks. Take right. good care. You too. Yeah, a lot of happy people leaving today. About 150 folks were vaccinated. The church tells me they're not 100% sure if they'll have another COVID vaccine clinic, but I can tell you they are organized, so I'm sure they will be called upon again, especially since starting on March 30th, all Minnesotans ages 16 and above will be eligible for the vaccine, so more clinics will be necessary. We're live tonight in Minneapolis. Sarah Danik, Fox 9. So good to see that taking place today. Thanks, Sarah.